Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 37 of Let's Platinum Cut All Ragnarok. Let's listen to the Delight and Dark Elf. Don't be rude. What's rude about asking for help? Big Vir, my love, focus on your work. You need to weave those tighter. Your alliance is unusual. I think what Kratos is trying to say is he's never seen a Light Elf and Dark Elf work together. It's a welcome sight. Hopefully one day, a common one. Mimir tells me you're something of an adventurer. Should you ever find your way to the Forbidden Sands and Alfheim? Contested territory, past the barrens. There are rumors of a sanctum, and artifacts our elders don't want us to see. Anything that sheds light on our suppressed history would benefit all of Alfheim. Uncovering secret history? Sounds like my kind of adventure. Knowledge of the Elves' common ancestry is what brought us together. Stories of Alfheim before the division of light and dark, it's very taboo. Didn't stop you from spreading word of it. Which is how you ended up in prison. Where she and I met. As enemies, naturally, but escaped as friends. More than friends. You can stop talking. Okay. <clears throat> Good luck out there. <laughs> okay, just quickly, because I have a feeling they might talk a bit more. I wanted to read, I forgot to have a look at this last time. I probably didn't, I probably got this one. Thick armor makes a brute hard to interrupt. It'll take something more than ordinary attacks to stagger them. Uh, the Ein Hayar. Yeah, I've read that one. <laughs> that was the one that spoiled sig sigil arrows. Some archers bear shields. You can break their guard from close range with a shield strike or make use of sigil arrows to disable their shields from a distance. I also got... It was the one... It was the Wisp. Yeah. The Wisp. All right. Um, ephemeral beings that can't be hit by most attacks. They need to be locked down with a runic arrow before they can be attacked. Once vulnerable, they can be dispatched in a single hit, which causes them to be knocked away and explode, dealing damage to enemies with a little luck. That's what happened last time. I just didn't realize. Um, well, it did a lot of damage and I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Wisps can turn into traps of lightning on the ground, stay away or get shocked. Okay, I don't think there was anything else. Yeah, I feel like that was pretty much it. Let's also read the one, this one, Bela and Big Vir. Bela, a dark elf, and Big Vir, a light elf, are allies of Freyr, and something more than allies to each other. After seeing so much division and anger in Alfheim, to see them together is striking. It is a reason to hope elves may yet find peace. Perhaps aiding them by exploring the hidden sanctum in the Alfheim desert will allow us to help correct our past, our own past wrongs toward, toward the elves. Um... Okay, I don't think I got anything else, so we'll leave all that. Cool. Let's see if they say anything else. If I may ask, do you miss Alfheim? You mean, do I miss the light? Do you? The truth? I still feel its pull. You want nothing else when you're near it. And away from it, you're only biding time until you can drink again from the light. Then again, the light does not make good food. It doesn't play music or tell jokes or open your eyes to new things. It makes you run in place. The more I am away from it, the more I see it for what it really is. And I don't need it anymore. Hmm. I appreciate your candor. Is someone going to ask me if I miss the light? Of course. How rude of me. In their defense, love, you are usually not the most... talkative. I will speak. From birth, we are taught the light is everything. The elders say it is why we fight. But all of that... It's shit. I am more than the Hive. More than a soldier. Light elves, dark elves... All elves are the same. Stubborn, brainless as moths, blinded by their light. I know better now. I looked into the shadows, and there I found my people. My home. There. That is all I have to say. You can go away. Thank you for sharing. <clears throat> okay, cool. Let's uh, go. So earlier I didn't go this way 
because there were some runic words, but I wasn't allowed to accept this for whatever reason without Mamiya, so now I have him, and we can. Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. The Vanaheim Lullaby. I bless the rains of Vanaheim. Words from a traditional Vanaheim song. In Greece, the rains served as a reminder to worship the gods. Do the people of these lands worship the rain alongside their gods? <laughs> nice little reference to Toto's Africa, I believe. I bless the rains down in Africa. Okay, uh, another one of these where we can't get past, so let's ignore it. And this, I believe, leads to a similar dead end. We can head out the way we came. All right. Done so. exploring, Kratos. Yes. Now, in terms of upgrades, I'm. Oh, hang on. We got conversations. Linda, would you happen to know how your light and dark elf friends came to be involved? You mean Big Bear and Bela? Well, they were both in prison by one side or another, or maybe both. Escaped together, been on the run, and absolutely all over each other ever since. A dark and light elf fleeing their people together. Quite a risk. Being in love's always a risk. That's what makes it fun. You could say the same about hot cheese. <laughs> <laughs> That's a genius. Linda, what do you know of Birga the Traveler? Not much. I ain't the talking type, really. But from what I can glean, he walked the path of the Traveler for a time, then found out something that made him step off it. Hard. Any idea what he saw? No, I'm not sure, but I think he saw what was at the end of the path. And, uh, didn't care much for it. Finding out Odin was pulling their strings all along probably put a colossal kink in his codpiece. <laughs> nice, a colossal kink in his codpiece. Um, do I want to do anything else here? I kind of don't want to upgrade my gear just yet. I'm going to hold off for a little bit longer. Well, first of all, I can't do it anyway because of Dwarven Steel shortage. Dwarven shortages? <laughs> no, Dwarf shortages. Shortages. I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Yet I hope this alliance has some staying power after all. It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word. Freya joins Kratos. Freya's alliance unlocks new combat equipment and a unique skill tree. Her use of both sonic and sigil arrows open new options in combat and puzzles. With their alliance sealed, Freya can now customize a variety of combat abilities and equipment. Press L1 or R1 to view Freya. Upgrade Freya's sword at any shop to improve her strength in combat. Press down to see her runic summon. Freya's runic summons provide critical aid in combat and can be activated by holding square. Runic summons take time to recharge. Press L2 or R2 to go to the armor tab. Find and equip different armor to change Freya's look. She also benefits from shared accessories that adjust combat style for her and Atreus. Press L2 or R2 to go to the skills tab. Freya has a unique skill tree that uses XP she earns separately in combat and quests. Unlock Vine Summons, Poison Attacks, Valkyrie Moves, and other skills. Press X to view her skills. Now right, here we go. Yes, so we have yet another skill tree. Entangled Grip. Freya can spawn vines from the ground that root enemies in place. So she comes with that one automatically. Uh, Freya's vines root enemies for a longer duration. Freya can summon vines that grab an enemy lying down and release a cloud of poison. Pretty good. Runic Arrows deal increased status damage. Sonic explosions caused by Freya have an increased area of effect, and hex explosions caused by Freya's sigil arrows have an increased area of effect. Uh, this one, sorry. Freya enters her Valkyrie form to slash through enemies. Freya becomes much more aggressive in the battlefield, parrying and charging in at enemies more often. All right, let's give her her Valkyrie form. I feel like that's just a nice bonus to have. You want to also deal more damage with 
Runic Arrows. Um, I don't know about longer. We can only get one more. Oh no, we can get two more. We'll grab Hex Explosions caused by Freya's Sigil Arrows have an increased area of effect. Enemies hexed by Freya's Sigil Arrows have less resistance to stun. Oh, I didn't know that one. Uh, more aggressive, Sonic Explosions. Maybe this one. Freya can summon vines that grab an enemy lying down and release a cloud of poison. So just a bunch of passive stuff, really. Okay, that's it. And we have more menu to look at in just a moment. You know what, I'll do it right now. Armor. Uh, well, actually, yeah, let's stick with Freya for a sec. So her armor is only cosmetic. So here's one, Tattered Witch Frock, or the Warrior's Battle Dress. An armor crafted by one who is ready to finish the fight. A frock that reminds its wearer of better days and simpler times. I don't usually use this one, but I'll use it for this. Compare. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll use it for, for now for a little bit. I'll keep, keep changing them around. Right, so... Oh, I was supposed to get the... Uh, there is a shop coming up, so it's not too bad. I can probably get it then. Let's do... Sonic Arrows, the increased... Status. Uh, melee attacks against enemy afflicted with Sonic dealing greatly increased stun. And just this one. Just doesn't really matter, put any for now. Okay, so the Leviathan Axe. Let's have a look at our new abilities. We can now get Returning Storm. Press L1 plus R2 while barehanded to quickly recall the Leviathan Axe and perform a powerful leaping slam attack that knocks enemies backward and deals high frost. Sounds good. For Whirlwind Sweep, which was the wait momentarily. I can't believe I've used it 29 times. If we get this one, we can do Whirlwind Throw, which is exactly the same thing, except you press R2, and he does that, which is awesome. Uh, now, here is one of my favorite abilities, Pride of the Frost, a heavy attack finisher at the end of the light attack combo. Press R1, 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 R2 to perform. Deals high damage and frost and launches enemies. Love it. And lastly, Frost Awaken 2, <laughs> this is so good. Hold triangle while sprinting to activate Frost Awaken quickly. Finally, another way to uh, activate it and a, a good way at that. Let's have a quick look. So I need Frozen Spike, Frozen Lance. These ones are done. Uh, 21, 30. I still need a few more freezing throws. All this is gonna happen eventually. Serpent Snare still needs 10, all of that, and 10, all right. All right, what did we get for? the blades. We got Chaotic Rampage 3. Adds a powerful finisher to Chaotic Rampage. So I've been using it a fair bit more. That one costs 3000 so I'm going to hold off for a sec. Hyperion Grapple 2. Striking a grounded enemy with Hyperion Grapple causes a fiery impact that sends burning sparks forward, damaging enemies behind your victim. That's really good. Ah, okay. We definitely need Furious Immolation. So this is basically the L1 triangle move. We can um, just basically enhance all of the Blades of Chaos melee attacks with burning explosions that deal additional, that build additional rage. Okay, did not do that. That's good to know. Uh, Scorched Earth 2. Striking an enemy during its attack with Scorched Earth significantly increases the damage dealt. Okay, I also want to check this. So this is 2,500. So that's five. Ah, man, I'm just short. All right, so I think I want Chaotic Rampage first. So let's grab that. And then we have enough to get... We're really close. I'll grab this one. And I'll grab this one. What was this one? Striking an enemy during its attack with Scorched Sweep. Okay. Uh, I prefer Sweep. Let's go with Sweep instead. And then we need 600 experience to get that. Alright, we're getting there. Let's keep going. Oh yeah, that thing. This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Bruna. Go ahead, carve the letter. Carve a rune into the hidden chamber door so Freya can open the way. It's an incantation. I'll speak it. 
Suna. Lovely. Working together is already opening doors for us. Uh, is he always making puns like that? <laughs> I thought Kratos was gonna go, yes. <laughs> Okay, we We're found. blocked by more vines. Remember what to do? Yep, pretty simple. So you want to basically aim a sigil arrow about there, aim one about there, aim one about there, and then go on this side. Press R2. Easy. A fallen log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. So if we press up, we can switch to the sonic arrows, which is what um. Brock activated for us when we were at the at the shop. All right, come on, jump in my boat. I want to take you home. So it's true. Tears really alive. Aye, not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now, but he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home. Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well... If you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. Hmm. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. Okay, let's just take care of that right now. Good. We can explore the river now. And hopefully right some old wrongs. What Click is this? The crest of Skirnir, never quite as smart as he thought. Family crests. Skirnir's crest. Though he comes from one of Anaheim's oldest families, Skirnir never considered himself a Vanir. Never considered himself, well, much of anything, truth be told. Skirnir was loyal to no one but Skirnir. He was that particularly infuriating brand of intellectual who forever seeks to place himself above others by refusing to ever be pin pinned down on any specific philosophy. If there were an issue with two sides, Skirnir would find a way to stand right in the middle and declare himself superior to all. Uh, sorry, himself superior to all. If there were a fence separating two past pastures, he'd find a way to balance directly on its edge. When Odin visited his wrath upon Vanaheim, Skirnir learned the consequences of neutrality. Neither side could be sure of where his loyalties li uh, lie, and so neither side could trust him. For the Einherjar, that meant they'd chop his head off at the first available opportunity which, given that the Vanir refused to provide him with shelter, came considerably sooner than Skirnir expected. <laughs> Interesting. All right, we've got another one of these things. We will be able to do something with it eventually, but not right now. We have a coffin, like I was for the past week. I've been very, very sick. I have not recorded in 10 days. That's from the previous episode. And uh, yeah, it hasn't been pleasant. All right, we are going to stay here in Vanaheim. I just don't know if I can make it to the next little bit. Uh, yeah, let's do it real quick. So we have two paths that we can take. I'm going to ignore the right path because the only thing that's there is a couple of pots that you can get Hacksilver from. It's not much and it also leads back to Freyr's camp, but we can't get there because we're blocked by something. So instead, let's go this way. And get a giant droplet of Yggdrasil vitality dew. <laughs> what is your unfinished business? I left something behind, near the falls. Your wedding site? Now why do you want to be going back there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage. And to Asgard. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. Brilliant favorite name. Freya's Missing Peace. Alright, so this quest is actually going to take us quite a long time. I'll, uh, I'll make sure to track that one. It doesn't really matter, but I'll make sure to track that one. 
My people settled this river many ages ago. Thousands traveled it on pilgrimage to the Shrine of Worship. But then the Aesir came. This is all that's left. Reavers, of course. Okay, that's beach. Yeah, this, this part is difficult to navigate. Um, I'm just gonna hang back for a sec. We'll, uh, we'll start this fight next time. Alright, for now I want to thank you all for watching episode 37 of Let's Battle God of War Ragnarok. My name's Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.